Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at a grade 7 review package that's available online. Uh, there's a high school, Lord Bing, in Vancouver, BC, Canada, that offers this grade 7 review package, part 1 and part 2, uh, for grade 7s who are going into grade 8. Uh, in, in BC, grade 8 is the first year of high school. Uh, as opposed to say Ontario where it's grade 9 and so going into uh, grade 8 uh, you will still want to have these certain skills that you learned in grade 7, grade 6, etc, etc and you're just going to practice before going into high school and make sure that you really understand and so we're going to make two videos that are going to help go through the packages we're going to go through part 1 together and then go through part 2 together so to get the most out of this review, I highly recommend that you pause the video, go to the Lord Bing Math Department website, and I'll put the link in the description below, and go ahead and download part one and part two, and solve for yourself uh, all those questions. And then whichever ones you get stuck on, you can come to this video, go to that number that you're stuck on and say, oh yeah, that's right, that's how you do it. You know, and so that's what we're going to today is review packages where it's, oh yeah, that's right, okay, that's how you do it. It's not going to be any um, lesson where you practice over and over. We're just going to go review both of these packages. And so anywhere that you get stuck, the Bing department website has uh, many additional links for anything that you get stuck on. You say, oh, I need to practice division. You can go through, scroll down, look for division, and you can practice with uh, that given link uh, for, for division, let's say. Excellent, so let's get started. So grade seven review, Bing part one. So they're asking us to circle final answers. Uh, okay, good, so number one. Is the number divisible by any numbers less than 10? If so, which ones? Number one, 54. We take 54 and we're gonna write it as a product of two times 27. And then we're gonna break up 27 as three times nine. And so 54 is divisible by what number? Two, three, two times three, six, and also nine, like that. So they just want the ones less than 10, and there you go. Number two, 443 four, is divisible by what numbers? It's not even, so it's not divisible by two. Therefore, it's also not divisible by four, six, or eight. And just a quick example, if it was divisible by four, then it would also be divisible by two, but it's not divisible by two. So it's not divisible by four, six, or eight. For the threes, the number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So we say 443, four, we're looking at the sum of its digits, 11, which is not divisible by 3. So 443 four, is not divisible by 3. Therefore, also not divisible by 9. 443 four, three does not end in 0 nor 5, so it's not divisible by 5. And for divisible by 7, uh, it, it is divisible by 7 if it follows this following rule double the last digit and subtract it from the number made by the other digits. The result must be divisible by seven. So we take 443, four, we take the last digit three times two equals six, and then we go 44 minus six, which gives 38, and this is not divisible by two. So 443 four, is not divisible by seven. And so we just went through all of them from one to nine and the question was, uh, is the number divisible by any numbers less than 10? No, it is not. Number three, 5.5 5 .5 plus 2.3636. We add them up as such units with the tenths, hundredths, etc. Perform the addition and we get 7.8636. Number four. 0 0.004 plus 0 0.6, add it up, perform the addition, 0 0.604. Number five, 8.6 minus 4.584, align the numbers, perform the subtraction, and we get 4.016. Number six, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.004, align the subtraction, perform it, 
and you get 0 0.796. 10 times 2.387. When we times 10, we move the, the comma to the right by 1, and so we have 23.87 as such. 33.8025 times 100. So we're moving the comma to the right by 2 and gives us 3380.25. Number 9, 23.2 times 0 0.01. This is the same as going times 1 over 100. So we're dividing this number by 100. So we move the period to the left by 2 spaces. And so 0 0.232. Number 10. 1 over 100 times 356.57. So we are dividing this number by 100. So it goes to the left, 1, 2, 3.5657, as such. Number 11, 48 divided by 10. So we're moving the period to the left by 1, 4.8. 8.4 divided by 0 0.0001. So we can rewrite this as 8.4 divided by 1 over 10,000. And this is times the reciprocal, like that, so times 10,000. And then so we're moving it by four zeros here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros there, 84,000. Number 13, 34.7 divided by 1 over 100. So we're going times the reciprocal, so times 100. And so we're moving it to the right by 2, 1, 2, as such, 34, 70. Number 14, 2.05 times 3.8. So we can rewrite that as 205 over 100 times 38 over 10. Multiply the top, multiply the bottom. So 205 times 38. We perform that multiplication and then divide it by 1,000. So we go here, divide by 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 7.79. Okay, number 15, 2.05 times 0 0.006, same thing here, 205 over 100, 6 over 1,000 gives us that. So multiply the top, multiply the bottom. So 205 times 6, we're going to perform that multiplication and then divide by 100,000, which is five zeros. So we go one, two, three, four, five, like that. So 0 0.0123. Number 16, seven divided by eight. So we have seven divided by eight, zero times, so 70, then eight times eight, 64, and we continue with this, the division, and so we get 0 0.875. Number 17, 28.971 divided by 0 0.9. So we have that number here divided by 9 over 10 times the reciprocal as such. 10 cancels off with one of the zeros here. And so now we have 28971 divided by 9 times 1 over 100. This is just moved over here, the 9 move over here. So we perform that division and we get 3219 like that. So 3219 over 100, we move it by 2, 1, 2, 32.19. Number 18, point eight, sorry, 36.8 divided by 0.8. So 36.8 divided by 0.8, we're gonna rewrite it, 368 over 10, divided by 8 over 10, times the reciprocal, 10 and 10 cancel out, so we have to do 368 divided by 8. We perform the division and we get 46. So 46 is our answer. Number 19, 6.66 divided by 7.4. So we're rewriting this as 6.666 divided by 100 divided by 74 over 10 times the reciprocal. The 10 and one of the zeros cancel out. So we have 666 divided by 74. We perform the division and what's left is nine as our answer. So we have nine over 10, which is 0 0.9. So our answer here is 0 
Number 20. Find the sum of 3.2 and 5.4. We align our numbers, perform the addition, 8.6. The difference of 56.85 and 13.07. What that means is 56.85 minus 13.07. We align, perform the subtraction, and get 43.78. 22. What is 2.2 less than 10.6? 10.06. So what that means is 10.06 minus 2.2. We align the numbers, perform the subtraction, and get 7.86. Number 23. Allison bought 10 pounds of flour. She used 2.1 pounds to make bread. How much flour did she have left? So what we're asking is 10 minus 2.1. We align the numbers, perform the subtraction, and so 7.9 pounds are left. Number 24, find the quotient of 33.18 and 14. What that means is 33.18 divided by 14. So we notice here that it's, div it's 33.18 divided by 100. So we're going to perform this division here of 33.18 divided by 14. Perform the division, and we get 237 that's left. And now we have 237 divided by 100, so we move the period over twice. 2.37 is our final answer. Number 25. What is 1.12 divided by 7? So here we have 1.12 divided by 7, which is 112 over 100 divided by 7. And so 112 divided by 7, we perform the division and we get 16. So now we have 16 over 100, which gives 0 0.16, and that's our final answer. 26. A certain type of juice comes in 1.9 liter cartons. Find the total amount of juice in 8 cartons. So we're looking at 1.9 times 8, which is the same as 19 over 10 times 8. We perform the multiplication. 152 over 10, 15.2 is our final answer. Number 27. Five friends went out for pizza. The total bill was 24.85. If the bill was to be split equally, how much did each person pay? So what we're looking at is 24.85 divided by five, five people. We're going to rewrite it as 2485 over 100. We're going to perform this division here, 2485 divided by 5. We perform the division and get 497. So we have 497 over 100, which gives 1, 2, 4.97. So 4.97 each person. Number 28. Mr. Whipple bought a 15 ounce box of cereal. The box is supposed to contain 10 servings. He ate three ounces of cereal for breakfast. How many servings was this? So we're starting off by noticing that 15 ounces is 10 servings, which gives us the unit ratio of 1.5 ounce per serving. Now we're gonna say three ounces divided by 1.5 ounces per serving. And the ounces cancel out, and what's left is servings. So 3 divided by 1.5 is 2, so we have 2 servings. So just so you can see here, uh, 3 ounce divided by this is the same as times the reciprocal, right? And so we see here, ounce and ounce cancels out, and what's left is serving, 2 servings like that. Number 29. The 8th graders were trying to raise $2,000 for a trip, they decided to sell candy bars. For each candy bar sold, they got 72 cents. They sold 2,863 candy bars. How much more than their goal did they raise? So we're starting out by see noticing that if we do 28.63 times 0.72, that gives us $2,061.36. So we perform that multiplication like that, and that's the amount that was sold. And so how much more than their goal? So we're doing what we sold minus the goal, which gives a difference of 6136. So 6136 more uh, than their goal was raised. Number 30. 
There are two taxi services in Bobstown. Taxi A charges $150 for each passenger, plus $110 per mile. Taxi B charges $1.25 for each passenger, plus $1.25 per mile. Which service is less expensive for one person to take a five-mile trip? So we're taking that information. We're looking at one person plus five miles. So taxi A, the initial charge for one person is 1.5 plus five miles. So we're going five times uh, the charge per mile, 110 like that. So 150 plus 550 equals $7. So taxi A costs $7. Taxi B, it's one person. So it's 125 per passenger. So it's only one plus five times 1.25 because that's their charge per mile. So five miles is this. So 1.25 plus 6.25 equals 750. And so we notice that the least expensive is A. Taxi A is less expensive. Number 31, what percent of the diagram is shaded? So we look at this diagram here and we notice that they're all equally sized and you count how many there are and there are 12. And how many of them are shaded is three. So three over 12 is the percent uh, of shaded uh, objects, so 3 over 12. And we can reduce that to 1 over 4, which is the same in decimal as 0.25. And we're asking what percent, so 25% as such. OK, number 32, write as a decimal, 3 divided by 20. So we're going to do that, 3 divided by 20. We perform the division, and we get 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 is our answer. 33, five divided by four. So we're gonna perform that division here, five divided by four, and we get 1.25 as such. Number 34, 11 divided by 10, we move it over, we move the period over by one, so you get 1.1 as such. Number 35, 397 divided by 10,000, so that's four zeros, so we go one, two, three, four, so 0 0.0397. Okay, number 36, write as a percent. Write as a percent. So 0 0.1 is the same as 1 over 10, which is the same as 10 over 100. So that's 10%. 1.1 is the same as 110%, like that. 110%. Number 38, 0 0.00397 is the same as 397 divided by 100,000. So notice the amount of zeros. We have a one, two, three, four, five. So we have five zeros like that. And now we're gonna make, uh, we're only gonna put two of them in reserve. So we're gonna go three zeros. So one, two, three to get that. And the reason why we want that there is because we want times one over 100, which is percent. So we have 0.397% as such. Write as a fraction, number 39, 15%, 15 over 100. We can reduce this to three over 20. And so three over 20 is our reduced fraction. Number 40, 42 and 6 sevenths percent. So uh, we're gonna do 42 times seven plus six to give us 300 over seven. Right, so we're turning it into a fraction here, 300 over seven, and it's already percent. So this is times one over 100. The 100 here cancels with the 100 from there. So we have three over seven that's left. So three over seven. 41, 125%. So that's 125 over 100 percent like that. We can reduce it, dividing by 25. And so we have five quarters, so five over four is our final answer. Okay, next, fill in the tables. Number 42. And so what was given is seven over 10, which is the same as 0.7. So there's your decimal, 0.7. And we can rewrite this as 70 over 100, which is 70% as such. Okay, next, number 43. We are given what's in black. And so 0 0.8, 
is 80%, 40% is 0. 0.4, and so this is the same as 4 over 10, which can be reduced to 2 over 5. And this here is double, so we can double it here, 4 over 5. 1 over 5 is 0. 0.2, which is the same as 20% as such. Number 44. Find 27.5% of 88. So we're doing 27.5% of 88, so it's times. Right? I always think of it as half of something. You're going half times that number. So this is it here, 27.5% of 88. So we're going to rewrite this as 275 over 1,000, like that. We're going to perform the multiplication on the top. So 275 times 88 gives 24,200. And we're going to divide that by 1,000. So we're moving the period over by three zeros, which gives 24.2 as such. Number 45. What is 25% of 36? 25% of 36. 25% of 36. This is the same as a quarter. We reduce that to 9. And so 9 is our final answer. 46. What is 150% of 20? So 150% is the same as 1.5. So 1.5 times 20 gives 30. 30 is our final answer. 47. 8 is what percent of 32? So 8 over 32 is what percent? Like that. So x is 800 over 32. I move the 100 like that. So 800 over 32. Perform the division and we get 25. So the answer here is 25%. 48. 225 is what percent of 90? So 225 over 90 is what percent? So we multiply the 100 over here. So 22500 zero, zero, divided by 90. We cancel out one of the tens like that. So 2250 zero, zero, divided by 9. We perform the division and get 250. 250%. 49. What percent of 63 is 0 0.63? So what percent of 63 is 0 0.63? We go times 100 like that, and so we get x times 63 equals 63. Divide by 63 on both sides, and they cancel out to be 1. So 1%. 1 50. 0 0.37 is what percent of 37? So a percent of 37 gives 0 0.37. Move the 100 up here, times 100 on each side, which gives 37 here, 37 there. We're going to divide by 37 on both sides, and what's left is x equals 1. So again, 1%. 51. 39 is 10% of what number? So 10% of what number gives 39? So we rewrite this as 10 over 100. We can uh, reduce this by 10. And this 10 gets multiplied to both sides. So we get 390 as such. 390 is our final answer. 52. 320 is 200% of what number? 200% of what number is 320? We rewrite this as a fraction. We go times, or this reduces to 2. So you divide by 2 on both sides, x equals 160, as such. 53. 25% of what number is 12? 25% of what number is 12? 1 quarter times 4 on both sides, 12 times 4, 48. 54. 12 and a half percent of what number is 17? 12 and a half percent of x is 17. So we can rewrite this as a decimal as 0 0.125, which is the same as 1 over 8. We go times 8 on both sides, 8 times 17, which gives 136. Number 55. 
So we're going to be doing finance questions, and usually in finance questions, you're allowed a calculator. So from 55 to 58, if you need a calculator, you can use it. So we have an item here, regular price 175, sale price 148. And so what is the percentage discount? So that percentage discount times 175 gives 148. So we're going to divide by 175, and we get 0.85. So if you go 0 0.85 times 175, you get 148. So the discount is 1 minus this. So it's 15. So the discount is 15%, like that. 56. We have a price on a camera and a sale price. So a certain percentage of this number gives 27.91. We divide by 34.89 on both sides. And so we see that x is 0 0.80. So if you go 0 0.80 times this number, you get 27, 2791. So the discount is 1 minus 0 0.8, which is 0 0.2. So the discount is 20%. 57. Here we have a wholesale of 12.99, a markup of 20%. And what is the retail price? So we're not only multiplying it by 1, but, but also by another 20%. So 1.2 times this gives 15.59, which is our retail price. Number 58. What is the simple interest earned on $750 if it is invested at an annual rate of 8% for 9 years? So simple interest rate, we have our interest principal, that's the amount of uh, dollars that we have at the beginning, principal, the interest rate, and time. And so uh, this equation might be given to you on a test, so you can always ask your teacher, will you give us this on a test, just to find out. And so our P is 750, so we're starting with, the rate is 0 0.08, which is 8%, and the time is for nine years as such. And so we multiply this together and we get 540. So 540 is the simple interest earned off 750 for this interest rate for that much time, $540. Okay, simplify, 59. 2 minus 10 over 3. So we're going to bring the 2 to have a common denominator, so times 3 over 3. So 6 over 3 minus 10 over 3 equals minus 4 over 3, as such. Number 60. 9 over 10 minus 1 over 5. So we're going to bring this up to have the same denominator. So we go times 2 on the top and bottom. And so we get 9, 10 minus 2, 10, which gives 7 over 10 as such. 61. So here uh, we can bring this 3 over 10 to 20 so that they have the same denominator. And we notice that minus times a minus gives an addition like that. So we have times 2 times 2. So 6 over 20 plus 9 over 20 gives 15 over 20. This can be reduced to 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 is our final answer. Number 62. Minus 3 over 5 minus 7 over 10 plus 2 over 15. So we need a common denominator for all of them and we're going to choose 30 to be our common denominator. So we need to bring this 5 up to 30, so we go times 6, top and bottom. The 10 to get to 30, we times 3, so times 3 here, top and bottom. And the 15 to get to 30, we times 2, so times 2, top and bottom. So we get minus 18, minus 21, plus 4, over 30. We perform that, that addition, and we get minus 35 over 30. We can reduce by 5, top and bottom, so we have minus 7 over 6, as such. 63. 5 and 2 thirds minus 7 and 1 third. So we have 5 times 3 plus 2, 17 over 3. 3 times 7 plus 1, 22 over 3. We perform the subtraction and we get minus 5 over 3 which is the same as minus 1 and 2 thirds, as such. 64. Minus 11 and 2 fifths minus negative 9 and 3 fifths. 
So negative times a negative gives a positive as such. And so we have 5 times 11 plus 2, 57. 9 times 5 plus 3, 48. And so now we have minus 57 plus 48, which gives minus 9. So minus 9 over 5 is our answer, which can be also written as minus 1 and 4 fifths as such. 65. Negative 1.4 minus negative 0 0.7. So minus times minus becomes a plus. So we have 1.4 negative plus 0 0.7, which is negative 0 0.7. Final answer. 66. Negative 5 over 6 times 10. So we can reduce by 2 here. So what's left is 3 and 5. We multiply, we can't reduce anymore, so we multiply the top, negative 25, multiply the bottom, 3 as such. Negative 25 over 3. 67. So this is our given number, 7 over, 7 over 9 times minus 3 over 5. 9 and 3 cancel out, there's 3 in common, bang, bang. The negative is still there, so negative 7 divided by 3 times 5, 15. Negative 7 over 15. Number 68, we have minus 3 quarters times 3 over 10 times 5 over 6. So we notice right away that the 3 and the 3 here cancel out, so what's left is 2. The 5 and the 10, the 5s cancel out, what's left is 2. Nothing more can be simplified, so we're multiplying the top, minus 3. Multiplying the bottom, 16. Negative 3 over 16. Number 69. Minus 15 divided by minus 5 over 6. This is the same as times the reciprocal. So times minus 6 over 5. The negatives cancel out. The 5 and the 15 have 5 in common, cancels out. What's left is 3. So what's left is 3 times 6, 18. 1 times 1 is 1. So 18 over 1, which is 18. Number 70. 15 over 17 divided by 2 over 3 is the same as 15 over 7 times the reciprocal as such. Nothing cancels out anywhere, so we have 45 over 34. 71. Minus 3 over 5 divided by minus 2 and 1 quarter. So first we're going to rewrite this as 4 times 2 plus 1, so minus 9 over 4. Then we're gonna go times the reciprocal as such. Here the threes cancel out, cancel out as such, and so do the negatives, minus and minus cancel out as such. And so we have four over 15 as such. Seventy-two. Minus 1.4 times minus 3.8. We can rewrite that as 14 over 10 and 38 over 10. The negatives cancel out, minus times minus cancels out like that. So we multiply the top, 14 times 38, divided by 100. We're going to perform that multiplication as such, and we get 532. 532 over 100, we move the period to the left by 2, 5.32. 73, 5.6 divided by 8. So we can rewrite this as 56 over 10 times 1 over 8. The 8s cancel out like that. What's left is 7. 7 over 10, 0 0.7. 74. Minus 1.2 divided by 0 0.4. We're going to rewrite that as 12 over 10 and 4 over 10 times the reciprocal as such. And here the 4s cancel out. What's left is 3. And here the 10 over 10, these cancel out. So what's left is 3 times 1. And negative, so negative 3, divided by 1, which is just negative 3. 75. 2.66 divided by 0 0.04. We're going to rewrite that. 266 divided by 100, divided by 4 over 100, times the reciprocal as such. The hundreds cancel out. So what's left is 266 divided by 4. We perform the division and we get 66.5, final answer. 
Number 76, write as a decimal. So negative five over two. So we can do five over two, perform the division, and we get 2.5. So the answer is negative 2.5. 10 divided by 11. So we're going to do 10 divided by 11. We're going to perform the, addition, the division. And then you notice there's a pattern, 9090, zero, nine, zero, and it keeps going if we were to follow that. So this is how you write 0 0.90 with a bar on top. That's what that means here, 909090 repeating. So you put a bar on top of 90, and this is the component that repeats itself. So that here is our final answer. Okay, 78. Write as a rational number if possible. So 0 0.66 is the same as 66 over 100. Divide by 2, 33 over 50. That's our final rational number. Pi. Pi is an irrational number. That's our final answer. That's one of the properties of pi. Number 80. Minus 0 0.292292229. It's non-terminating. It keeps going. And it's non-repeating decimal. Then nowhere is it repeating itself. So it's an irrational number. 81. 8 over 2 is 4. 4 is our rational number. Number 82. Find the missing factor. So we have 100 equals 25 times something. So we're going to call that something x. We're going to divide both sides by 25 to isolate x. And what's left is x equals 4 as such. 83. 270 equals 30 times something. We're going to call that something x. We're going to divide by 30 on both sides to isolate x. And what's left is 270 divided by 30. The tens cancel out, the 0 and 0 here. So 27 over 3, which is 9. 9 is our final answer. Next, 84. Write the first three multiples of each number. 34. So first is 34, next is 68, next is 102, as such. Find the least common multiple. Between 6 and 1, that least common multiple is 6. Number 86, between 9 and 30. So 30 goes 30, 60, 90, and there's no other multiples that match except for 90. So 90 is our least common multiple. Number 87, between 8, 12, and 15, find the least common multiple. So a good trick is to start looking at the multiplications of each number. So start with 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. And so we can compare that with eight and none of them are matching up here. And when we go with 12, you do the same thing. So we say, oh, 60 matches. But if we keep going with the eight, it's 64, uh, it doesn't match. So we keep going as such. And we notice that 120 matches up with the bottom two. Eight also goes to 120. So 120 is our least common multiple. Okay, next, number 88. Write each mixed number, mixed number, as an improper fraction. So we already practiced this. 5 times 3 plus 1, 16 over 5, 16 over 5. So 4 times 3 plus 2 is 14 over 3, so 14 over 3. Number 90, simplify. 13 over 20 plus 5 over 20. So we're adding the top. So 18 over 20 reduces to 9 over 10. 91, 3 and 5 eighths plus 2 and 7 eighths. So 8 times 3 plus 5, 29. 2 times 8 plus 7, 23. So 29 over 8 plus 23 over 8 gives 52 over 8. We can reduce that by 4. So we have 13 over 2. This is the same as 6 and 1 half. So 6 and 1 half as such. 92. 9 over 14 plus 3 over 4. So this can go up to 28 by going times 2. And this goes up to 28 by going times 7. So we have common denominators. Add that up, 39 over 28. It does not simplify. So that's our final answer. 93, 4 
and 14 fifteenths plus 6 and 3 tenths. So 15 times 4 plus 14, 74 over 15. 10 times 6 plus 3, 63 over 10. We're going to bring it up to 30. So we're going to times 2 for here. And on the right side, we're going to go times 3. So we have 148 plus 189 over 30, which gives 337 over 30. And this is the same as 11, right? 11 times 30 is 330. So 11 and 7 thirtieths remaining. 94. 15 over 28 times 14 over 25. So there's a lot of simplification going on. So you divide by 5 for here. So we have 3 and 5 left. Here we can divide by 14. So we have 1 and 2 left. So we have 3 times 1, 3. 2 times 5, 10. 3 over 10. 95. 4 and 2 sevenths times 6 and 2 ninths. So same thing, 7 times 4 plus 2, 30. 6 times 9 plus 2, 56. And we are multiplying these values, so we do not need common denominator. We're going to multiply the top and multiply the bottom. But before we do that, we're going to do some reduction. And so here, the uh, 7 and 56, we have 8. The 30 and the 9, divide by 3 there. And so now we have 10 times 8, 80. 1 times 3, 3. So 80 over 3. 96. 6 over 11 divided by 8 over 12. So it's times the reciprocal as such. We can do some cancellation. The 8 can divide by 2 here. And then divide by uh, 4 here as well. And so what's left is 3 times 3, 9. 11 times 1 is 11. So 9 over 11 is our final answer. 97. 1 and 3 sevenths divided by 2. So this is the same as 10 sevenths times a half, like that. The 10 and the 2 cancel out. What's left is 5 over 7, as such. 98. 20 over 21 divided by 6 over 7. This is the same thing as saying 20 over 21 divided by 6 over 7 times the reciprocal as such. 7 and 21 cancels out. Tw uh, it reduces to 1 third. 20 over 6, it reduces to 10 over 3. And so we have 10 times 1, 10. 3 times 3, 9. 10 over 9. Number 99. Find 7 quarters increased by 1 quarter. What that means is 7 quarter plus 1 quarter, which gives 8 quarters, which equals 2. Number 100. What is 2 thirds decreased by 4 over 9? So we have 2 thirds minus 4 over 9. So we need common denominator, so we're going to go times 3 over 3, like that, which gives 6 over 9 minus 4 over 9, which gives 2 over 9. 2 over 9 is our final answer. Okay, 101. Elizabeth bicycled 12 and a half miles on Monday, 20 and 3 quarters miles on Tuesday, and 16th and 5 8 miles on Friday. How far did she bicycle in all? So what that means is we're going to add up all of those miles that she bicycled over those three days. We're going to put them as improper fractions. Common denominator is 8, so times 2 here, times 4 there. Perform the sum, 399 over 8. And we're going to perform a division so that we see how many whole numbers are left. So we have 49 remainder of 7. So 49 and 7 eighths as such. 102. Bruce has gained one and a half pounds this month. He now weighs 92 pounds. How much did he weigh before he gained the weight? So we have an unknown plus one and a half and we got 92. So we're going to subtract one and a half on each side. So x is 92 minus three halves. We're going to go times two to have common denominators. So 184 minus three is 181. So this is 181 over 2, which is the same as 90 and 1 half. So 90 and 1 half pounds. 103. 
6 over 7 multiplied by 21 over 8 is what? So we've set up our multiplication as such, and we start doing simplifications. So 21 and 7, bang, bang, 3 is left on top. Bang, bang here by 2, 4 is left and 3 is left. So 3 times 3, 9, 4 times 1, 4, 4 over 9. Sorry, 9 over 4. Okay, 104. Find 5 over 8 divided by 7 over 12. So we set that up. 5 over 8 divided by 7 over 12 times the reciprocal. And then we can start doing some cancellations by 4. So we have 5 times 3, 15. 2 times 7, 14 is our final answer. 105. Terry bought 162 cans of juice for a party. She used five over six of them to make punch. How many cans did of juice did she use to make punch? So we have 162 cans and we used five six of them. So now we multiply, actually we're gonna do some simplifications here. And then what's left is 27 times five. So 27 times five is 135. So she used 135 cans. One oh six. How many laps can Gayla swim in one twenty six minutes if each lap takes her four and a half minutes? So four and a half minutes is the same as nine over two. So what we have here is nine over two minutes per lap is the same as one twenty six minutes per unknown amount of laps. And so here our goal is now is to isolate for x to find out how many laps she can do in 126 minutes. So we're going to go times x to bring it up like that, so times x on both sides. We're going to go times 2 on both sides to bring the 2 up to here, and divide both sides by 9 to bring the 9 down as such. So now we have x equals 126 times 2 over 9. Do some simplification, and what we get is uh, 2 times 14, which is 28. So here, 28 laps. 107. The cheerleaders are selling boxes of cookies. They have three weeks to sell 280 boxes. The first week they sell a quarter of them. The second week they sell five over seventh of what is left. How many boxes must they sell the third week to meet their goal? So the first week we have a quarter of 280, which is 70. And so 280 minus 70 is 210 left. And then the second week, they sold 5 over 7th of what is left, so 210. Perform the simplification, and then we multiply, so we get 150. So 210 of what is left minus 150 is 60 left for the third week. So 60 boxes is the amount that they need to sell that third week. Okay, simplify. 108. Minus 8 plus minus 8 minus 16. Minus 15 plus 3 plus 11, so it's 14 minus 15, negative 1. Minus 13 minus 18, minus 31. Negative 19 minus negative 4, so this becomes an addition here. So minus 19 plus 4, minus 15, as such. 112. Minus 3 plus minus 7 is 10. So 14 minus 10 is 4. 113. Minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. Minus times minus gives positive. So minus is left out the outside. So we get minus 3. 114. Minus times minus becomes plus. So we have 17 plus 19, 36, with the minus on the outside, so negative 36. 115, 43 minus this, minus 21. So we perform this uh, addition, and we perform this subtraction. What's left is 22 minus 11, which gives us 11. 116, negative times negative gives positive. 11 times 11, 121. 117, 
minus 9 times 8 times 4, so we get 72 times 4. 72 times 4 is 288, the minus still there, so negative 288. Number 118, minus 352 divided by 16. So we have 352 divided by 16. We perform the division and we get 22, so it's minus 22 as such. Minus 16 divided by 0 is undefined. One twenty. Forty-five divided by minus twenty. So we have minus forty-five divided by twenty. We simplify and we get nine over four, so minus nine over four as such. Next, refer to the number line to answer these questions. What number corresponds to point E? So we look at point E, minus four. One twenty two. Which point is closer to the origin, A or F? So the origin is zero. So a is plus 2, and then f is minus 2. So the distance is the same for both. Next, write the opposite. Minus 2, opposite is positive 2. So next one, 124, minus, minus, minus. So the first two minuses become positive, and what's left is minus 47. And so we want the opposite of minus 47, which is 47. Next. Minus times minus gives positive, so we get minus 0 0.2. We want the opposite, so it becomes 0 0.2, like that. 126, minus times minus becomes positive, so we have minus 15 over 16. We want the opposite of that, so it becomes positive 15 over 16. Fill in each blank with the correct symbol, smaller than, greater than, or equal. So here we have 0 0.31 and 0 0.125, so 0 is the same, 0 0.3 and 1, so this is larger, so it's, it's this symbol here, 0 0.31 is larger than 0 0.125. And now let's look at the next one, minus 0 0.3 and 5 as such. The larger it is negative, it's more negative, so it's smaller. So the bigger one, which is closest to the positive values, is this one, so it's this symbol as such. 129, 12 over 8 and 12 over 15. 12 of over 8 is a number bigger than 1, right? If it's 8 over 8, that's 1. 12 over 8 is bigger than 1. 12 over 15 is a number that is less than 1. So the more than 1 is bigger as such. Okay, number 130, minus 7 over 5 compared to minus 8 over 7. We can rewrite that as minus 1 and 2 over 5, and minus 1, 1 over 7. This number here is more negative. It's a bigger negative, so it's a smaller value than minus 1 and 1 7th. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.